morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Pray for this and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins, and ask God mercy and forgiveness, so that we may become worthy to offer the sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him. And by condemning them, him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they had found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in the tomb. But God raised from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you and what God promised our fathers. He has brought to fulfill, fulfillment for us their children by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the son. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. I myself, I have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the degree of the Lord. The Lord has said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, uh, and I will forgive you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule, the, rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. And now, O kings, give heed, take warning. You rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with Trembling rejoice. says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, 
do not let your hearts be troubled ye have faith in god have faith also in me in my father's house there are many dwelling places if there were not would i have told you that i am going to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come back again and take you to myself so that where i am you also may be where i am going you know the way thomas said to him master we do not know where you are going how can we know the way jesus said to him i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ well today is may 13th right okay is there any great event happen on may 13th any idea okay don't worry 1917 on the may 13th blessed mother appeared to uh, three shepherd kids back in fatima in portugal so today that actually she appeared uh, to them six times uh, every 13th of the month from uh, may 13th all the way up to october 13th and uh, so today we remember the first apparition of uh, mary in fatima okay that's it jesus well we have been uh, thinking about jesus and how he is related to his father and jesus and how we are connected to him so it's basically we call christology the theology of christ that's what we have been uh, uh, studying for the last couple of uh, weeks uh, basically today we come uh, to that final link basically uh, it's jesus says i am the way i am the truth and i am the life and how do we understand all those three things first i am the way i am the way follow me many of you people i'm sure you know that in the past when there was no gps okay or google map people when you go to dot like you place you go to the gas station and you fill the gas and then you ask people how do i get to this place okay that was the old gps gas station okay and then uh, sometimes if you are lucky there may be a person who goes to that direction and that person will tell you a hey, i am going to the same place or same direction follow me and typically if you follow them you reach a point where he is going the other way and you have to go this way he will stop and will show like that and then you just uh, go that maybe you have to go and ask other people so it was very common in the past you follow and again and sometimes when you go in a group say the thing because you maybe the first one knows the road the way so you follow the other ones so you will see all those uh, convoy of cars going behind because the one who knows now all that thing is over because with all gps sometimes gps may take you some other place but otherwise you know usually you get to the place with google map and gps and all the other uh, uh, apps that we have but this follow me is still valid for us on our way journey to heaven on our journey to the father no gps will help you okay no google map will help you and no gas station people will help you it's only one help is jesus that's why he says i am the way to the father you follow me i am the way you follow me the second one is believe in me i am the truth follow me i am the way second one believe in me i am the truth jesus revealed to us basically the nature of the father the holy spirit and himself and he also revealed to us our own nature who we are we are god the father's images and likeness in this world and in jesus we become his sons and daughters and the truth is revealed to us and it's through jesus that we reach the father believe in me i am the truth follow me i am the way and the third thing is come to me i am the life come to me i am the life 
life not just today but for eternity because life we have physical life we have and of course the spiritual life we have from Jesus through Jesus but we are not supposed to live just for a few years in this world right are we going to just live for a few more years we are, we are supposed to live for eternity but the eternal life the only way to get the eternal life is through Jesus believe in me i am life and that's why you know the, the, the disciples were really worried uh, because they knew he was with them for 3 years and they knew he was going to be uh, killed so they were really worried about what to do and that's when jesus says worry is a part of your life but don't be troubled i have answers for all your worries follow me believe in me come to me if you do that everything is taken care of how many of you worry on a daily basis do you worry about whatever huh yep i'm sure other all of you all of us we worry about a lot of things and most of the time we worry about nothing right but still we worry and worry we are so worried about everything basically we worry about worry about this day we worry about us we about worry about you know a performance we worry about study we worry about other people we worry about the world we worry about the war in ukraine we worry about everything worry about everything we just worry and we have no answers we just worry and we have no directions we just worry and we don't know what to do and that's when jesus comes and tells us follow me believe in me come to me it's not that he will remove all the worries okay don't think that sometimes people think if i am with jesus then i will have no worries right that's not the case i will have no problems right that's not the case jesus is not there to remove all the problems but jesus is there to help us go through the problems make sense yes that we have to keep in mind because sometimes we get disappointed because we pray to god you know when we are worried about something we pray to god and we realize the problem is still there and we wonder what is god is doing there why god i am asking you why can't you change this problem but jesus says that's the same thing with jesus had to carry the cross he had to die on the cross you know his father could have easily changed the whole thing that didn't happen but the father did not abandon him the father was with him all that for day and that's the same with us jesus is not there to remove our problems but jesus is there to help us go through our problem handle our problem and that's why he says don't worry about it i am with you follow me i am the way believe in me i am the truth come to me I am the life. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that you may continue to welcome Jesus into our lives. For the church may the holy spirit strengthen each of us in our baptismal vocation as true disciples let us pray to the lord the lord be our prayer for our leaders of nations and peoples may god inspire them in making choices that lead to peace for the world let us pray to the lord the lord be our prayer for those who live with the burdens of racism per- prejudice hatred and misunderstanding let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for our faith community may jesus strengthen us and we seek to build god's kingdom here on earth let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all who have died may god grant them an entry into eternal life with those who get, have gone before them let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer For the repose of the souls of 
Leonard and Bernoda Fessler, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all natures, O glorious and blessed virtue. and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord shall sacrifice in your hands, in the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but at this time above all to lord yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in christ therefore overcome with pascal joy every land every people accepts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection We offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Sean our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse blessed apostles and all the saints so pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him of god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever At the Savior's command and for my divine nation we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that, 
By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And so for each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel down. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring our Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 